Allison and family. I've been really holding Devin in my heart. And when I said that I keep her in my thoughts every day, it's really true. Um, have you ever seen the book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie? Well, if you give a graphic designer a project, something that's strong in their heart, what I decided I would do is take a picture that I found that's really clear of Devin and make it look really like with a new background, like an old picture. This was such a pretty picture. This is just in her soccer uniform. And I created this. Your life is a blessing, your memory a treasure, your blessing. You were loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. I'm sure you are. So these are eight by tens. I decided to go ahead and have them printed. There's one. And then um, I have two five by sevens. Let's see. But then I made this square one because that's kind of cool to do it that way. But when I got these, they came with these little sheets that had the samples here, and they had like for the other for these pictures, they had pretty good sizes. Well, I had to do something with that. And so I have taken those little ones and made them into little necklaces. And these are some of the ones I did have printed as little squares that I decided to make. For people that don't do necklaces, this is a magnet. And this is actually something you can take off and put on like a pen, or you can put it on your fridge. Um, Allison, I wanted to give you a chance to give away Devin to your family because you have so many people that love her. I wanted to get give you the joy of giving gifts. These are something I made, um, kind of like grew out of an idea. I love labyrinths, and labyrinth, uh, another person that was grieving the loss of a daughter at one of my craft shows saw one of my labyrinths and found it to be relaxing. And she said it, the moments that she did it, it took her away from her grief, just for a few moments. Labyrinths are known to be peaceful, so I've made you some little labyrinths that you can keep some and give some. These are deeper than the other ones. I meant, you can still see the little bead, it's a little harder to see, it's in there. But um, after I ran out of the thin woods that I made this one with, and these three are deeper, but they still work. All right, so I saw something on, uh, by the way, I'm giving you a flash drive that has all the pictures on it so you can make more of all of them. I saw something online on Facebook, of course, an ad for this thing that I just thought I have to try this. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try it. If you look into this, it might work by the way. So when you take it and look into it, you're going to have to do it yourself because it's not going to work really well here. So basically you pull the little jewel part of this up to your eye and look inside the jewel and there's seven. She's in there. Um, I remembered a poem that's Tennyson that came from a Bible verse. Nearer to me than my hands and feet and closer to me than my breath. So I thought I'd get you a necklace that you could always keep her nearer to you than your hands and feet and closer to you than your breath. Where she really is anyway. But interestingly, when I bought this thing, the little jewel there fell out. And I was very upset because... I didn't want that to happen to you. So I called them and talked to the lady and she said that there had been a bad batch and one had slipped out and that they normally do not fall out and they would send me another one. So this is the another one. Since the thing fell out and I have a laser cutter, I made you one of my design. So this one is also one where you can look inside the jewel and see that one. And I put a link so she, you can just wear a pretty necklace and it will always be right there with you everywhere you go. Okay, sorry. Oh, 
this one. Mm, these are um, sir. I can never say the right word, but they're little crystals. So those are little crystals, and then that's the actual picture gem. And the boxes are from what the chains came in. So, I don't know if this is something that Ali will want to wear or if it is something that your husband might want. It, this design is actually meant to be so men can wear it. So, the thought is maybe you can have a more ladylike one and he can have this one. I don't know if he wears it. Mine probably wouldn't. But everybody, I'm sure there'll be someone that does. But if you, don't, you want to wear one that's just a picture of David, I've got these. And my thought was that you have so many people that loved her and so many family members that this way you can have the ability to give gifts of Devon to your family so they can remember. So this is why I did this. Also, I went to the library convention where they give out free books and they were giving this book out, and I saw it and thought, somebody I know is gonna need this, hopefully not me, but I didn't know who might need it, and frankly, I have several friends, unfortunately, that have lost their children. So I got these two books, and they seem reasonably, they look like they would be nice books, so if you wanted to share them, you can let me know if they're helpful. Just to say, I have, unfortunately, seen and watched my friends lose loved ones. Devin is special to me because you and I were pregnant with our children at the same time. She was born in March and Ryan was born in May. So they're very, this one is very close to me. She is such a darling, lovely soul and I'm so much grieved for your loss and your family's loss. So I got carried away and made stuff. So I just wanted to let you know how this stuff works, particularly since these are kind of interesting and weird. And this has, all the pictures that I made are on this flash drive, and there's plenty of room left on the flash drive for you to add other pictures of Devin on it. So you can have kind of a little special archive for Devin pictures and videos. I, my best, my love, and you're always in my heart.